Hey, what is going on guys? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Steam Link working with non-Steam games such as the Semu emulator. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is open up Steam, go to add a game, add a non-Steam game, then browse for the program you want to load up. In my case it will be Semu. then add selected program. So what we need to do here is right click, go to properties and then change the same U name to the game you want to play. In this case it would be Super Mario 3D World. Now in the target what you need to do is type in space dash G then the directory of where the game file is. I have that already copied so I'm going to paste that in then space dash F. Hit close. Where well, you can do an extra thing here is go back into properties. Change the icon. So you will need to browse where you have the image file. Then the file type just go to all files. Find the image. Open it up. Then click on close and that would do it for the Steam side. The next step is to configure SEMU emulator. So go to options, input settings, configure your control pad and make sure that X input is selected. In my case I'm using the GameSir G3S control pad and it's vital that you have X input done so the Steam Link can work with your control pad. So next go into debug, render upside down and that is it for SEMU. So I've skipped showing you how to set up the Steam Link, it is pretty much straightforward. Anyway, to get your Wii U Pro control pad working, you need to set it up in this menu here, not in big picture. Now having said that, let's get the uh, Steam Link running with SEMU emulator. I'm using a wired connection now. So now if you go into your library, you can see Super Mario 3D World. And Semu is running. And you can see the upside down Steam pop-up window on the top. So I'll just quickly get into the game. And this has picked up the Wii U Pro Control Pad. In Semu you can use the Game Pad or the Control Pad, it's up to you. So here we are in the first level. And it works very well, I'm not noticing any lag. Once again I can show you the Control Pad working fine here. So all the buttons are working fine, including the analog stick. Then the start menu as well. I recommend you to use the Steam Link if you have a very fast connection, otherwise it will lag. Now to exit you need to hit home and then press down on the analog stick to exit as the overlay is inverted. So that is it guys, a quick way to show you how to get Semu Emulator working through the Steam Link. Finally the giveaway, and at the moment it is open to only UK residents simply because my channel is really small and I don't get paid for these videos or have any sponsors. With that out of the way, I have two brand new Steam Links to give away. They don't come with the Steam controller or any controller so do bear that in mind. To enter, it is very simple, all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to this channel Leave a comment saying what game you will be playing on it. Secondly, follow me on Twitter. This is optional but hit the like button and share it with others. Since the channel is really small, I will go through the comments and pick out the winners. The winners will be announced in early February. If my channel grows in the future, then I can certainly do international giveaways. So that does it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.